So, this is the child who will save the world. Set out on this journey in the first place. It's my mom. I have to save her. Say cheese! Bring us more! Now leave me alone. Test, test. Go! Come on! Don't go get it all soppy on me. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. First, you will have to save yourself. <laughs> Move on, Ollie boy! Slow down, Mr. Drippy. Mr. Drippy. But Ding Dong Dell's just on the way! Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? That's a brilliant name. What the fuck are What do we do? Run for the- ah! Get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? Are Ghibli animations? That's so cool. I didn't know that. I just thought it was the same style. That's so awesome. I like Mr. Drippy.
Good morning, Miss Layla. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? So he finally finished it, huh? Do you know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'll have gotten far. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing, Miss Layla. I like this already. Hey, Ollie. Over here. Oh, it's Phil. Hold on, Phil, I gotta test settings. Uh, I don't wanna, yes, I... Thank you. Um... Settings right now, you fucking fucker. Just turn the music volume down. Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. So. Oh. What else would it be, dum dum? Well, that's rude. Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? What else? We take her first spin tonight. What? Tonight? But I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom and. Sure, sure. You go ask your ma. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Well, I... No, but... Okay, we'll do it tonight. But we'll have to be real quiet. Sure we will. Okay, tonight in my garage. Be there or be square. Sure. Getting peer pressure. So, this is the child. Who will save the world. Or so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. The dark djinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? That's probably the white, the, probably the white witch. Hey, Mom. I got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? Say, Mom. Hmm? Did you say something, sweetie? Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? <laughs> will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? You'll be late for school. Mm. And chew before you swallow. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. See you later, Mom. Bye, sweetie. You be good now. I will. 
I love this already. Hey, Phil, you didn't go to school yet. Ha, <laughs> school schmool. Today's a special day, kiddo. Today's the day our dream machine finally rolls off the drawing board and onto the streets of Motorville. Oh boy, I can't wait. When can I see it? Whoa there, cowboy. Not so loud. Don't forget, this is our secret. Hey, dum-dum. You didn't tell your mom about it, did you? No, I did not. I asked her if she was busy, and she said that she has a concert practice, so she'll be in bed real early. Perfect. Then tonight's the night. You still in, kiddo? Sure am. Tonight at your garage. I'll be there. It's being peer pressured, and I don't like it. She must be asleep by now. Neato. She's out like a light. <laughs> Neato. Now's my chance. I have to get to Phil's garage.
Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Oh, I can finally change the volume and shit, probably. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. is a little bit young to be sneaking out of the house. What is it with that kid? What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last so Baron did said, we build? And she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever? All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Wow. Nice. Oh, is this neat? Oh, this is so, so neat. You betcha. <laughs> the new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not How even close. How do we just close. straight up build a car? So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah! <laughs> Where are the both of us going to sit? That's a one-seater. Okay, there's nobody around. We should take her outside now. Uh, so, Phil, who gets to drive first? Huh? Mm, let me see now. Tell you what, kiddo. If you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, wait right here. Watch out for Starry Mary, will ya? Starry Mary? You know, that girl who keeps spying on us before. I swear, that kid is cracked. See? There she is again. I bet you that tattletale goes straight to her olds. She wouldn't do that. What are you, sweet on her or something? Go check out the front already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. This is very, this is very 50s. I kind of dig it. 50s, 60s. All right. The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver, don't go. You're surprisingly huh? British. Who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! Well, What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over. Uh... Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh? That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh, no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, 
His light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be... disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally... tenacious? What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. I'm assuming that's the titular white thing. He who would save this doomed world must die. Oh, damn. She crazy looking. Uh-oh. Mom's going to wake up and realize that we aren't there. Mom! Help me! <gasps> Uh-oh. Ah! Sweetie? Where are you? Oliver? Uh-oh. Oliver! Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? <gasps> Oliver! Oliver! You're not sneaky about it at all, in fairness, dude. <laughs> Oliver? Oliver, wake up! Uh, uh, oh, you are so grounded. Mom? <sighs> oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Ja! Are you okay, Phil? Must have twisted my ankle back there. <laughs> Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, huh? uh, Allie! Allie! Uh, oh, Allie? God. Are you okay? Mom? Uh, What's wrong? Uh, oh, my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom? Oh, dear. I'll fix the doctor. Mom! You actually gave your mother a heart attack, kid. Good job. Goals. <laughs> Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom! You'll be okay. I know you will. 
be good now. For me. Mom? Mom? Mom! No. No! This is kind of depressing. Oh no. She's already dead. Mommy, oh, don't me. say that. <laughs> Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world. Where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Hmm. Let us see how the story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be huh? engaging. Yeah, thanks. Oliver, honey. I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told him. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today. But she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Oh, fuck. Be good while Mommy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy? That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you were sniveling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days? I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? what an uh, asshole. Uh, oh, dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Uh-huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. Look, it's Al. <laughs> On with the show! Oh, uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? 
This quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shaddaa, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into yours, the rotter. Uh -huh. And then you went and cried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shaddaa for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I...? Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right, especially with me to help you. But I... Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, fair dues? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... um... no. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on, once more, but louder. I won't do it. I... I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty, yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. <coughs> and I just can't right now. What, because your mom dropped dead? Uh, yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh... Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What? What are you talking about? You ready for another year fall? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you and ma'am, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and you and Mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your Mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. Wait. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings-on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? Oh. I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! we better get going then. <laughs> chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book. Huh? A book? But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't, now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha!
<coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Now listen up, I'm gonna teach you what <coughs> I'm gonna teach you what's in that uh, wizard's companion of yours. I don't wanna have a read of it, press triangle to open your main menu. You should see it down at the bottom right there. Then you just need to choose it with X, and you can leaf through the wizard's companion in your heart's content. Take a minute or two and have a skim of your few pages, eh? You look like a smart lad, so I'm sure you'll get into it. Oh, I almost forgot. The first thing you have to do when you get your hands on the wizard's companion is to make a pledge. You need to vow that you do all you can to be worthy of being a wizard. Don't look so flippin' worried. It's not hard. All you got to do is write your name in the book with an open and honest heart. And you don't even have to write Oliver, if you don't want. You could write Bunting, Crybaby, or whatever you like. The important thing is that you mean it. Go on, scribble your name down. Tidy. Right. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm. Now, let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right at least, was it? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Time to find ourselves a magic wand. I mean, there's one hidden somewhere around here, like the spell book. Ha! You're having a laugh if you think I'm going to make it that easy, man. What do you think I am? Made of wizarding equipment. No, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Well, how our journey is over to my world is a hunt for a soul na snow snare, among other things. Why don't you treat this as a warm-up? A Easter egg hunt before we wild before the wild goose chase, if you will. The, huh? Uh, okay, I guess. Okay, I'm lying. The thing is, I never brought a wand with me. I mean, look at me. The price of my lovability is a small stature, is... I only just managed to carry that flippin' book, man. Any more and I'd have been crushed. Say the fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. Us fairies are incorrigible liars. Anyway, no point of crying over spilled milk. Let's find ourselves a substitute, shall we? A substitute? How can there be a substitute for a magic wand? Well, if you can find something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick... <laughs> Are you sure a stick will work? You think I'm sending you on a garden path or something? Fine, I'll give you a hand. Follow me, Bunting. <laughs> Don't tell me you're thinking of using this lamppost as a flippin' wand. We can cut that out for a start. It's way too flippin' big. We need a stick or something like that, innit? We go have a look by over there. Bag, my answer into the categories. It's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. Just put the goddamn branch off of that tree, dude. There's a tree right there. They're made of sticks. <clears throat> Alright. We'd better split up and broaden. Broaden our search like. I'll go take another quick look around your house. You stay here and head up to the outside and search, okay? 
Oh, okay. Brown and sticky. Brown and sticky. Oliver? Huh? Oh, it's you. Hello. You're you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. Wait, so how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me. I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. <laughs> a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Phew, I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? You obtain an old stick. Right, now we need a place to cast our spell. To ca you need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, isn't it? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. To town square, Mr. Drippy. Away. I like this. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um... Thing. 
Yeah. Let's get a shunting, crybaby bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver. Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Oh. Get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Huh? Ah! What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ah! Look, Lively, he's making his move. Oh, boy. Come on! Gerald Pal Drippy talk you through the basics of battle. First, don't take a look at that green bag gauge to buy there. It shows your health points. The more HP you have, the healthier you are. But if you run out, you go unconscious. If you need any of that, that's your magic points. MP, isn't it? Don't worry about magic for now, man. Let's talk about the beasties first, shall we? I see lots of information about them up by here, on the right. Here's useful, eh? The red gauge shows you their HP. Get that down to nothing and move on. Each bubble thing is down here, the commands you can use in battle. That's not to be going on. Let's try giving the rotor a smack with your old, with your stick. Gotcha. Tidy. What should I say? Nice. They say when you find an enemy's weak spot or block a big attack, see? And look at that, it's dropped something. You guys pick that up, eh? This is known as a glim, Molly Boy. Enemies drop them in the heat of battle. Green limbs like that one, you can have to restore a few of your HP. Blue one, give you empty back. Stack moves and close the game, see? You can also give your HP and MP boost. Spells and items. Push. In order for that, you're not having any info. Okay. Well, hey, proper tidy. Nice one, Ollie Boy. Jeepers, creepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy, but where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might <laughs> just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned <laughs> people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted.
broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! All right. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy! <laughs> Something I forgot to tell you. What's, what's that, Mr. Trippy? Hey, in my world, you can use it. Okay. I'm having trouble with the controls, so I said I can use it. Yeah, but... Well, speaking personally, I'd have it on. A rumble is in a rumble. I'd have it on a rumble, is it? Now I know what's supposed to take on all this, boy, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. I guess.
Looks to me like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by. Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Time to mend your first broken arm. Mend it, but how do I do that? Well, you can't do it just yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. An old, old man who got just what we need. Proper use for that, am I, eh? Old man? What old man? What do you mean, what old man? The old man, innit? Lives in the woods to the north of here. Proper deep and deeply dark. Is it? Well, that's why they call it the deep dark wood. Makes sense, I guess. Alright. <laughs> what it is.
Safe than sorry, innit? Sure, Mr. Trippy. Tidy, that's what I like to hear. So be as good as your word. Right on, next stop, the old man in the woods. Mr. Drippy! Wait for me! Who goes there? Hello. Jeepers. Ollie boy, meet old Father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is, is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you're a tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it, did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. But first... We had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, yeah! Clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only gonna get bigger and meaner. So, you're gonna need a helping hand, or claw, or beak. Or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. Okay. But Mr. Trippy, there's no spell known Form Familiar here. You what? The boy is correct. Look at his wizard's companion. It would seem that it's missing more than a few of its pages. Really? Knickers. Does that mean I can't cast a spell? <laughs> I am not as powerless as all that young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. 
form familiar. Ah, yes. A gift from me to you, young Oliver. Thanks, man. Thank you very much, old Father Oak. But simply possessing the page for a particular spell is no guarantee that you'll be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such as life. Don't worry about that for now, man. Just give form familiar go, will ya? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. Warrior from your very own heart, a familiar. This is a familiar? That's right, the fighting spirit inside you made flesh a soldier of your soul. He can really help me fight? He's got a sword. Huh? <sighs> Ouch! That was a mean trick. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. This is a familiar, huh? And he's coming with us. And indeed he will, Ollie Boy. The more the merrier, innit? Here, you better give a tidy fellow a name, eh? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Smitey! You cannot let you off. Set, let you set off into the wild. Let me give you some spells to aid in your battle. The first is a restorative incantation known as Healing Touch. Yay. That's the most useful spell there is for a wandering adventure. It cuts, bruises, sprains, gashes, all gone in a jiffy with Healing Touch. You make it sound like I'm gonna get hurt an awful lot, Mr. Trippy. Next, let me give you the gift of blazing of the Blazing Inferno. Fireball. Shoots a little ball of fire, that one does. Plant based beasties flipping hate firemen. Even old tree face here is scared of a fireball. Drippy. How? You would never aim such a spell at me, would you, boy? Golly, of course not, old Father Oak. Spells menu. Okay. Uh oh. Huh? Spoiling for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Ollie boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just. Think what you want him to do, and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a log, man. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. Watch this! Time to learn about fighting with familiars. Pick which one's gonna fight. Friend, trouble me. So we best give him a go. Here goes! Shall we? The circle on top of that's your familiar stamina gauge. Like this shot how much water you can fight more. When I keep him on the go, the shorter stamina gauge will get. Hmm. Before that happens, you have to call him back to prepare a rest mark. There's a little mark here, but it's a sign.
There's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, and planet. You continue, you need to learn when to let your familiar lose and when to take control of yourself. <coughs> and the creature cage. And delicious treats. Okay. Adoration and moderation. That's key. It's probably left to get your head around when you throw the creature cage. In the Okay. I promise to look after him real well, Mr. Driven. Oh, Sir Gott, we had something we wanted to ask you, your trunkiness. There's a guard down in Ding Dong Dale, and he's broken hearted, see? Broken hearted, you say? Shadar's evil spread still further, so you'll be needing. That we will, your Okatude. Uh, yeah, as quick you are. You still have it, ain't ya? <laughs> Patience, young Drippy. Of course I have. Let me see now. And it was here somewhere. Crikey, you've not gone and lost it, have you? Lost it? The insolence. I put it away safely among my uppermost branches. It's a little tangled up there, that's all. Well, I seek it out, I have a favor to ask of you. Did I mention we we're in a flippin' hurry, didn't I? We haven't got time to go... Mr. Drippy, we should help old Father Oak. He gave us those spells, didn't he? Ah, how very refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. All right, all right, I get the flippin' message. Go on, what is it you need for us? It's the guardian of these woods, you see. The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fella? I'm afraid he's become rather unruly of late. He's neglecting his duties. That's not good, is it? I better help you, help you sort him out then, eh? The guardian? He sounds kind of tough. Too right he is. Way stronger than your average beastie. But you've got a familiar on your side now, man. You'll be fine. And besides, if you're going to take down Shadar, you can't back out of a bit of light guardian bashing now, can ya? Okay, I'll do it. How very kind of you. The guardian can be found in the deepest part of the wood beyond the whispering waterfalls. I wish you luck. I guess I am. Why don't you go take a quick look at the new main How do I do that, Mr. Trippy? I mean, you need to see friends and familiars. What's the details about you and your familiar's abilities? Uh-huh. I know what leveling up means.
Thanks for the help, Debbie. Alright, well. Whoops. That's gonna do it for me for right now. Then, thanks for coming out, and I'll see you guys next time.